The narcissist will do the unthinkable. Let me explain. So there was this dating app that one of my trans friends told me to get on and try. So I was like, okay, girl, let's see what they're doing. Let's see what type of bait this fish can catch. So there was a guy that was talking to me, whatever. And then, you know, we ended up like talking on Snapchat because I don't like giving my numbers out to people because y'all know the narc situation, how he makes the fake pages and stuff like that. Tell me why me and this guy was talking. Da, 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 da. Whenever I would ask him for a photo, he would get quiet. We all seen Catfish on MTV, baby. We ain't no fool. So I was like, okay, are you married? You know, I didn't want to just say that. And then he would just be like, oh, you're so funny. Da, 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 da. So anyways, kept talking to him. But this was during COVID. So, you know, I wasn't trying to meet up with people like that. You know, we were on lockdown. So what is this to talk to somebody? Da, 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 da. And he would send the pictures. But this is the thing about sending pictures. Whenever he would be talkative, like sending messages back and forth super fast, and I would say, send me a photo, then they would stop talking. But then like two days later, he would come back and they would send a photo. But the difference was the guy in the photo looked disconnected from me like this can't be somebody that i talk to all the time because when he was recording he was like holding back from the camera like kind of like like he didn't really want to do it and i was like hmm but is somebody paying somebody to do this that you you know we got to think that way because you know how these videos these readings be saying they pay people to help them stalk da 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 and i actually just saw one i'm going to insert it in this because look at this. They are paying someone to spy on you. And listen to what I'm saying. Remember I said I think he was paying that dude to take pictures for him. And this is not the first video that I've seen like this. I watched this lady right here. And one of her videos, she even said they were on dating profiles, like pretending to be people. Like, I don't know why I didn't save it, y'all. But look, she makes a lot of videos. I can't remember which one it was. But she was saying that they get on dating profiles looking for you to talk to you. Anyways, um... So this guy would talk or whatever, but it was always weird whenever I would just blow it up. And I was paying attention to that. Tell me why I ended up talking to one of my psychic friends. Because, you know, just like coworkers, you know people, I know other readers. And we were talking about it. And we were like, yeah, that might be your narc ex. And it's not to say I never thought that it wasn't my ex, but you don't want to always throw that out. Like, is this my ex? Is this my ex? Is this my ex? Even though your gut is telling you this is your ex, da, 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 but you don't want to necessarily always use that line. Like, it's my ex. Even when you guys were telling me that it was my ex in my comments on my videos, I don't want to always say that. Like, even though our gut say that, you know what I mean? But it's like, why do we always say that? But it do be them, but we don't want to always say that and overuse that. Right. So I was just trying to be like, maybe he's married. Maybe he has kids. But my gut was telling me that was my ex. Tell me why like a couple weeks later or like a month later, I ended up having a dream. And in this dream, I was astral projecting and I went into this dark room and my ex was laying on a bed on his back and the phone was like shining on him. You know, he had his like the phone up and the air kind of, you know, you know how I'm talking about laying on your back. And I walked up to my ex and I looked at the phone and it was me talking to that guy, which was him, the catfish. Tell me why that next morning, that same friend that I told about it said, Chrissy, watch this reading. Tell me why in the reading it was saying they sent somebody younger to like talk to you, whatever. And maybe you started to talk to this other guy, think you were talking to the guy, but it had something to do with them, literally. But this is the thing. When I brought it up to the account, is this my ex? Then it went from, ha ha ha, you're so funny to, oh my God, this is weird. I don't want to talk to you no more. We need to stop talking to each other, da, 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 da. But whenever I was saying, are you not sending me pictures and you don't want to talk verbally and stuff because you're married, it was, you're funny. Ha ha, why did you say that? Ha, you're funny. No, it's me, da, da, da. But then as soon as I started saying this, it's my ex, honey, that person, shoop, I ain't heard nothing else from the baby. So when they say the narcissist does the unthinkable, they do the unthinkable. And I actually saw another reading saying they were on dating profiles looking for you on dating profiles. If I can find that one, I will try to insert that in here. But right now, me recording it, I know the reader. It was on YouTube, but she makes so many readings. So I can't remember which one, but she was saying that in the clip. 
So, baby, be careful of y'all on those dating profiles or talking to anybody that ain't really sending photos. Like you said, we watch Catfish. Like, I was just talking. You know, baby, we can't meet up with people like that. It was a dude or whatever, da-da-da-da-da. But I feel like it was my narc ex, and it was somebody. And another thing about it, the guy, I ended up like, so we wasn't like following each other on Instagram or whatever. Because when I date people, I don't be want to follow you because it's too smothering. But um, I ended up like when he was trying to ghost me or whatever, I ended up looking up his username on Instagram. And baby, the dude was in the military back in the day, but he wasn't no more. And I think he only did like four years, you know. But I asked that person. They were like, oh, no, I do road work, da, da, da. But I ended up seeing that from the guy's pictures or connected to it. So was that like one of the Marines that was with him? Da, da, da. You see what I'm saying? Baby. And I think he was paying him because that's what my intuition tells me. And y'all know, like I said, baby, baby girl be right a lot. So, but just throw that out there, baby. They be on dating profiles talking to you. They do the unthinkable. What we think they won't do, they will do.